Exactly one year ago today, an eight-year-old boy from Little Rock became the first child to die of the flu in Arkansas in nearly four years. And while his parents say losing their only son has been difficult, they feel it's important to carry on his legacy. And tonight, TV 11's Melissa Zigowitz brings us an update on Tyler Dunaway's story. Tyler's parents say even though he had autism, that never stopped him from making people happy. Now his legacy lives on through some four-legged friends. <laughs> he had this miraculous ability to charm people without him ever knowing it. Inside the Danaway house. Those have been on the ground for over, over a year. Puzzles and toys have remained untouched. And he was sitting there doing them the day before, the day before everything happened. <laughs> Since eight-year-old Tyler Danaway died from the flu exactly one year ago. Some days you wake up and you go, gosh, it's only been a year. And then other days you wake up and go, gosh, it's only been a year. But his parents, Teresa and Steve, have made it their mission to keep his memory alive. There are a lot of families in Arkansas that need help. And so the Tyler Danaway Foundation was born, providing better resources for families with autistic and special needs children. One of the things we came up with was therapy dogs. We started with one therapy dog training and then we've got three waiting to start training. Seven-year-old Cody is the first rescue dog to come from Tyler's foundation. He will go on to provide comfort for kids and adults. They'll give the love back like Tyler did. Tyler had like an unconditional love and dogs have the same type of love. So far the Danaways have raised over $15,000. We're also going to be doing um, offering financial assistance for swim therapy for autistic kids to learn how to swim. Their ultimate goal is to build a sensory gym in Little Rock because there's not one here in hopes to make Tyler proud <laughs> by bringing joy to kids just like him. We still are hearing stories about him <laughs> from his therapist. He knew he had autism. He wasn't going to let that stop him. You know, he was really smart, had a really funny sense of humor, and he was very m mischievous. <laughs> Tyler's parents are also working with the Little Rock Fire Department to provide autism awareness stickers for buildings and apartments. So first responders know there's a person with autism inside. They hope to roll those out in the next few months.